Hey guys, so uh, I got this word. Um, I was really just uh, searching YouTube and uh, looking at some passages on, on the word. And uh, the Lord said, uh, I want to speak with you. I was like, okay. And uh, I was like, Lord, I'm running, almost running out of paper here. Because I've been using this one same sheet all day. Like, all day I'll be using the same sheet of paper. And it's, it's pretty much full now. <laughs> um, I was like, Lord, I'm running out of paper. I don't know where any paper is. And he didn't say anything. He just started talking. And, of course, he knew I was running out of paper. And he didn't make the message long enough for me to run out of paper. Of course, silly me. <laughs> He's so good. He's so awesome. But, uh... This message is if it's more for when I asked him, I was like, Lord, who is this message for? He said the the unfaithful. And I think this is what I'm deciphering is that <clears throat> he's not really focusing on the faithful on this. He's kind of talking to the faithful Christians about the unfaithful. Um, the ones who have faith, but it's it's a lukewarm faith. It's not a wholehearted, true, I believe you, whatever you say, obedience, like a childlike obedience, that, that kind of faith, a child of, of faith obedience. Um, and he's talking to these, this group. This could be lukewarm, I'm not sure. I haven't been confirmed on this. I'm still kind of thinking about how unfaithful are these people that he's referring to? Um, and this is what he said. I got this at 1024, 2013, at 1202. Um, it's 1219 now. And he said, Zach, heed this message. Times are changing now. Newness is becoming old. The lack of faith in me by my people are condemning them to their own downfall. I ask from them for repentance and trust in me. I love them dearly and long to be reconciled with them. I am a gentle God and seek no approval of them. I am faithful to the end. I love them. I love them. They are mine. I made them in my image. Nothing can keep me away from them. Seek me and be at peace under my wing, for it is spread greatly. I love them, my children. I love them, my children, and never let them go too far out of my sight. I see all. Lord, love, Lord Yeshua. Sorry, I got twisted up there. Yeah, and the one thing I was, I think I got the what it means, but when he says, times are changing now, newness is becoming old, um, I'm still trying to understand that. I think I get it. I think he's talking about how this world is decaying, it's becoming withered away, it's old, it's, it's coming to a close now. Um, and... What was really cool, I thought, when he said, I am a gentle God, I seek no approval of them. Meaning that I'm a very kind God, I'm gentle. I'm not this God of condemnation, this huge punishment God of just evil, like force, hatred. Um, he says he's gentle, he's, he's slow, he's slow to He's slow to anger and quick to forgive. Um, and he said he seeks no approval of them. That kind of means that we can't work out our own self on our own salvation. He doesn't see our flesh as anything of value to him because it's already fallen. Our flesh is already corrupted. He he seeks no approval in that. He wants your heart. Your heart is where it all matters. Um, I thought that was really cool. But yeah. 
uh, discern this message, go to the Lord about it. Um, whoever this is for, I pray you heed this message. Um, keep your faith up, guys. He, he's the God of all creation. So the all, of, all of creation is in his hands. So if that's the case, then he can do anything he pleases. So if he can do anything he pleases, and he's a gentle God, and he loves you dearly, that means he has a lot of good things for you. He just wants your faith in that. And it's all for your good in the end. It just it's, He really wants to establish that relationship with you. But he's a gentle God, so he can't force it upon you. He wants you to seek him and meet him halfway. It's a relationship. It's a marriage. It's a father-children connection. Um, but yeah, he loves you guys a lot. Please have faith in him. He longs. When I was hearing this, he, he was very... I wouldn't say he wasn't sad. He was just like, why won't they just come to me? Kind of like that, you know, just come on, guys, please. You know, he, he sound like that. Um, so he's a very gentle God. He's he knows what you're going through. But that's why he wants you to have faith in him, because he can take care of it all. But he can't force that upon you. He wants you to see how great he is by you going to him and having the revelation of yourself, of who he is. And therefore, he's a teacher, he's a rabbi. By teaching you this, you become more connected and your bond becomes that much greater. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys are blessed. Hope you guys are encouraged for the love he has for you and enriched by his character, his heart. Um, so yeah, love you guys. Uh, have a blessed night. Or day night here I'm about to go to bed hopefully if he wants to speak to me again we'll see